Am I the asshole? For wanting to limit my Bill's access to my unborn daughter because of his dating choices? Dummy account because the relevant parties are on Reddit. I am pregnant with a girl. My husband has a younger brother who's he's very close to. However I recently told my husband that I don't feel comfortable with the idea of his brother spending much time with my daughter. Once she's born. It's not because of my Bill himself. We're not close but he's fine. The issue is his life choices. He's not married, has no intention of getting married or having kids, and dates only for sexual purpose. He dates multiple women and the only thing he has in common with them is that, like him, they are extremely good looking. He's highly intelligent, yet he has no interest in meaningful relationships. I spoke to him about his choices a few years ago, and after accusing me of being moralistic, he claims that he always uses protection and he never leads the women on. Which I call BS on, as I can't imagine. Any woman with an increasing ticking biological clock would willingly be in a relationship which she knows doesn't have a future. Not to mention, what woman would want to be with someone who may not even remember your name in a year's time? I mentioned this to my husband, however he called me an R, and said that it was ridiculous to limit our daughter's access with her uncle just because I don't agree with his legal dating choices. Am I the asshole? Edit I probably should have clarified that he generally goes onto apps like Tinder. Which makes it worst, as the women he dates tend to be of a certain type. Yes, you're the asshole. He's single not a predator. I also don't want marriage. There are a lot of us out here. You're the asshole. His dating preferences has nothing to do with his ability to be a good uncle. So he doesn't like relationships? Since when is that a shameful thing? You're the asshole. Not everyone dates for marriage. Not everyone wants marriage, or long-term relationships, or even short-term ones. That doesn't make them morally bankrupt. People who have life goals that don't match yours aren't morally bankrupt. Get off your high horse, pal. I can't imagine any woman with an increasing ticking biological clock would willingly be in a relationship which she knows doesn't have a future. You're the asshole. You think your Bill will be a bad role model for your daughter when you're making broad generalizations like this one about the women he's with. Only one person comes off as being disrespectful to women in this post, and it's not him. You're the asshole. You're a major ra. Your brother-in-law was completely right. You're projecting your moralistic standards, and your view of the role of women onto him and the people he dates. I've got news for you. There's lots of women out there who aren't pining away for marriage or children. If your brother-in-law and these women decide to go out on dates, it's absolutely categorically none of your business and your way out of line on this. You're the asshole. Good lord. This is one of the more judgmental things I've seen on here. Just pure slut shaming. You're the asshole, not every woman is concerned with. Increasing ticking biological clock. Or reproduction for that matter. Some of us just want to live for ourselves. So yeah, quit being moralistic and leave your bill alone. Not sure how his sex life may influence your future child, lol. You're the asshole. It's 2023. It's okay for women to like sex outside of the quest to land a husband. As long as he's being honest and safe, what's the problem? I can't imagine any woman with an increasing ticking biological clock would willingly be in a relationship which she knows doesn't have a future. Not to mention, what woman would want to be with someone who may not even remember your name in a year's time? You're a troll right? In the off chance you're not, you're the asshole. But I'm pretty certain you're either a troll or you were raised in an extremely conservative, Christian household. You're the asshole. Believe it or not, there are women out there who aren't interested in relationships or children. If he doesn't bring his sex partners around your daughter, then his sex life should have absolutely zero effect on her. You're pushing your morals on him, 
and it's unfair to deny him a relationship with his niece because of his sex life. Edit lol your edit doesn't really help. Of a certain type. Still judgmental. You're the asshole. This doesn't even make sense. You're the asshole but uh. You got his number? How is he with dogs? Any food allergies? Height? Basic description? Here I thought he was going to be dating underage or dangerous women. You're the asshole. How would this affect a baby at all? You're the asshole. Why are you limiting the time that him and your daughter can spend together just because of his dating choices? Why is it a concern to your daughter too? You're the asshole. And very judgmental. I am trying to understand where in all of this your bill would be a danger to your child in any way. You're the asshole. What a bizarre and irrational reason to want to limit contact. There must be something else, surely? He's engaging in consensual relationships with others, even if it's something you would never choose neither would I, but what in the world does that have to do with being an uncle? Edited a typo. You're the asshole. His dating choices are his own and you have zero reason to believe he is being dishonest with the women he dates other than a belief that no women could possibly want something different from what you want. Moreover, there is zero connection between his dating choices and your child. Him not being married does not somehow endanger her. You are just weaponizing your child to manipulate your bill into making life choices you are more comfortable with. You're the asshole. First thing not all women want to be in a relationship. Not all women want to have children. Restricting his access to his niece because you don't like that he doesn't want to get married or have a serious relationship is just a complete and total R move. You're the asshole. Obviously you have every right to limit who is around your child but the reasoning is absolutely ridiculous. You're what, afraid he's going to give your newborn dating advice on casual sex? Also super judgmental, there are plenty of women who enjoy casual sex and their only goal in life isn't to be breed like livestock. You're the asshole big one. You're the asshole. Unless he uses her to pick up chicks, I don't think your logic makes much sense. Don't keep her from a loving family member because he doesn't date the way you think he should. Women can be dogs, too, btw. Not everyone wants the same thing. Why? There are even women who don't want children gasp what would Michelle Dugar say. You're the asshole. How is his dating life relevant to the fact that his brother is having a kid, and that he should be able to be a part of that? The way you view women is really creepy. You're the asshole. But when this makes no sense. Him dating, being married or not has no bearing on him having a relationship with his niece. You're the asshole. He's not a danger to your daughter and his dating choices aren't a reason to deny your daughter access to family. You're just being moralistic and controlling. Also unreasonable. So long as he's not parading his flings before your child after she arrives, there is no problem here other than the one you're creating. But uh, judgy ma judge face. His dating choices are none of your concern and have absolutely no bearing on his possible future relationship with his niece. Chill and let your daughter have an uncle.